what's poppin', y'all? It's your boy Rock. Coming at y'all with some nasty action on the Xbox, man. It's, uh, you know, last night I was thinking, I was like, fuck, man, I, I ain't uh, uploaded nothing from Xbox. And right now will be the perfect time for your boy to upload something to Xbox. I just uploaded a video on my homeboy Texas Draw channel. And I want to say welcome to all the new subs I got so far coming from Texas Draw channel. And all the subs that just now stopping through, it's happening. Uh, right on stopping by, checking out your homeboy. Rocket Child, man, it's a, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun going on over here, man. <clears throat> but yeah, man, this is some gameplay I got last night, Thanksgiving night, man. So yeah, it was last night I got on the Xbox, man. And I was, I got I got on there murdering, and, and to some, my, my surprise, I don't know if it's because I play NBA 2K12 on the Xbox or what, but man, uh, I feel, uh, I feel pretty solid as far as like, uh, Controlling the Xbox controller, you know, my aim and shit. So, uh, that's a good thing. So, I expect to see some more Xbox gameplay coming up, man. We got to take dude out from the head, but I'll get my whole back blew out. <laughs> but, yeah, man, this, this gun right here, man, it's, it's my shit. And, oh, man, this is something I really just started using. I know I know a lot of y'all probably already started using it, but I just started using Stalker, man. And, uh, you know what, that... that that perk has helped me a lot because, you know, I'm a SOCOM player. I say this shit in my video all the time. I'm a SOCOM player, and that's what we used to do. We used to strife to the left and the right to, you know, dodge bullets and stuff. And really, I mean, that's what I do with Stalker, but also what I like to do is I like to uh, edge around corners, you know what I'm saying, and be able to walk quick. That was always one of my biggest pet peeves with Call of Duty. In Call of Duty in general, is that when you aim down sight, like you're stuck. You know what I'm saying? Like your feet don't work. <laughs> For real. Because, uh, I mean, me, myself, I am shot rifles. I can aim down a sight and, and, and walk to the left and walk to the right. I mean, it's not a big deal. I mean, maybe it's a little over exaggerated with Stalker, but it's cool. And then I just got Stalker Pro, so I don't, I don't get tripped by Claymores and shit. And I just started using Quick Draw. I just, I see the whole, like, that whole package set up, uh, Side of hand pro, quick draw pro, and stalker pro. I feel I feel kind of untouchable. I, I feel so swift, you know what I'm saying? So that, this, this is a setup I've been running right here, man. Uh, yeah, check out this gold CM 901. Oh yeah, man. If y'all haven't heard, man, it's like a little uh, a little glitch they put in the game. But I think it's a, a glitch they put in purposely because it's on the Xbox and on the 360. Where if you get that gun, the CM 901, the gun I got in my hand right now. And if you put the grenade launcher attachment on it or the shotgun attachment on it, that it will actually increase the fire rate on it. It actually increased the fire rate so much on that gun that that gun, that gun starts to shoot as fast as the ACR. Now, I know some people are like, well, what's the advantage of that, Rock? Well, you got to think about it. The ACR shoot faster than the CM901, but it has less damage. The, the damage on the CM901 is the same amount as the Type 95. So I should just put it in perspective for you, for all the people that don't know. And for the people that don't have the game, the Type 95 is basically like the gun for Modern Warfare 2 to Famas. You know what I'm saying? It's basically a one burst kill, three round burst gun. Fun as hell. I like using that gun. I've been trying not to upload videos from it, man. <clears throat> but yeah, man, I had to upload this last night. Uh, yeah, man, so I'm going to be on the Xbox a lot more, man. Um, I think I'm going to I'm gonna start, start trying to play with... Uh, some of the some of the other YouTubers up on Xbox. I'm gonna start trying to get on Homeboy Frog, uh, the Homeboy Texas Draw. Oh yeah, no thanks to my Homeboy Texas Draw man putting that video on his channel. And to all my subs that watch this video, go ahead uh, click that link down below. Go ahead check out my Homeboy Texas Draw man. You know what I'm saying? We need to spread the love around this YouTube community. It's, it, to me, it don't seem like it's enough of that going on. Um, it's a it's a couple people that I, I plan on doing some. Some dual cons with to try and help that channel, you know, get a little boost, man. Because, uh, I don't know, it seemed like when I first came and, and I was watching YouTube, it seemed like people did that a lot. Like, they went, I wouldn't say they went out of their way, but they, they made sure they, you know, they, they were trying to give somebody else a boost. Like, they people were actually just going around, like, just looking for it. And I noticed that, like, a lot of the big YouTubers now, like, they, they don't really do it. Like, uh... You no, know, shout out to like the Mark J for doing like some subscriber Tuesdays. Like that, that was a brilliant idea right there. That's like something I would do if I hit like a hundred thousand subs. I mean, why not? You're not losing nothing. You helping somebody out. 
you know, I mean, uh, <laughs> man, this this almost kind of bring me full circle to that whole thing with like Woody and him charging people for like five hundred dollars to to get a shout out. And some people say it's unfair price. Some people say it's fair price. I'm kind of in the middle on it because, you know, in life, nothing comes free. You know what I'm saying? And, and you can't expect people just to give you something for free because you feel like you deserve it. Sometimes you have to pay for it. Sometimes you got to work for it. You know what I'm saying? So I, I feel people, that's just like uh, when I first started, I'm, I'm not going to lie. When I first started my channel, uh, I don't know if I told y'all, but I used to watch uh, Wings of Redemption and... For a hot second back in Modern Warfare 2, when I first started my channel, he was doing this thing basically where he would you would pay him fifty dollars and he would put your video on his channel. And you know, I was I was paying close attention to it and the people that was doing it, they were having about when they did it about three to four thousand subs from doing that on Wings' channel. <clears throat> but uh basically, you know, eventually it got a little too much for Wings and he stopped doing it. But um like, that was something that I was going to do. I was going to pay the $50. Now, $500? <laughs> I don't know if I pay $500. Like, only way I could see you paying $500 is if, like, you already, like, making money off your videos. And you know that the traffic you going to get from Woody's channel to your channel is going to help, you know, boost though, you know what I'm saying, your views. Which, of course, is going to boost how much you get paid. So, I mean, that's the only way I would pay the $500. So... I'm not saying like people stew for paying 500, but it's a reason. And uh, me personally, like you would get there. So me personally, I feel like <laughs> if I did that with Woody and he sent over a lot of his subs, I still feel like I keep like 50 percent of my sub count for real. But it is hard though to keep your sub count, man, to match your videos. Cause uh, I mean, y'all see, I got 5,000 subs, but like I only average probably about at the most like a thousand views per video. I mean, so. I mean, I'm happy where I'm at, though. Some people just trying to do just a little too much. <laughs> For real. Everybody feel like they supposed to be like on X Jaws, Woody, uh, Hutch. Well, Hutch has seen Anna's they, they been skied off. But you know what I'm saying. People feel like they supposed to be up that high. And, you know, it, it takes time. And if you really think about it, you can't be mad at those dudes from being where they at. That's kind of like, uh... I know this. Is, I know it's a lot of kids watching this, but y'all gonna grow up eventually anyway. But it's kind of like when uh, Ecstasy came on the scene. Like if you was the only person that had it and you had it for cheap, you know what I'm saying? You was gonna blow up. Everybody's gonna know who you is that did Ecstasy. It's kind of like uh, kind of like the same deal with Modern Warfare too. All these people like uh, Sandy Ravage, uh, Taves, all these dudes. They want a machinima. Machinima gave them. Uh, you know, spots on their little network, and, and that's how they start to grow, and eventually Machinima started handing out uh, partnerships, and, and that's where they at today. And that's when Machinima was big. Like, if you was on Machinima, <laughs> you was a real boy. And now it seems like when people on Machinima, it's like, oh, I'm on Machinima. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> For real. But I went ahead and fast forwarded, man. It's the end of the game right here. You know, I went to uh, 40 and something. But I had I to put this up. I know I went off to the left a little bit. I wasn't even really trying to talk about this whole YouTube bullshit. But, you know, it is what it is. It's been your boy Rock. Go ahead, rate, comment, subscribe. Give it that thumbs up for your boy Rock. Still getting nasty on the Xbox. Small to come, man. Small to come. All right, y'all. Peace.